Brave New Voices National Poetry Festival here at Sproul Hall, filmed as a free speech event. Josh, one of his referees, commented, is one of the few people who are able, through his easygoing and humorous manner, to diffuse tensions and build coalitions among many different ethnic and racial groups. He and the young people he works with appear frequently at protests and demonstrations in the Bay Area, bringing the motivating and inspirational power of the arts to social justice campaigns. He does an amazing job, said one referee, of bridging the arts and culture with activism. He also has the honor of having been thrown off the agenda of the J Street Conference because in a poem, he, com he made some criticisms of the prison at Guantanamo Bay that they didn't care for. So, free speech victim, Josh Healy. Berkeley, California. This is fucking beautiful. And that might not make the soundbite news, but this is free speech, so I'm going to say once again, you look fucking beautiful. Give it up for yourself. This is about power. This is about the people. This is about bringing hope back. This is a poem for the 99% when hope comes back. When hope comes back, he will be more than a campaign slogan, a face on a poster faded red, white, and blue. When hope comes back, he will not come from a presidential palace bought and paid for like a Citibank stock option villa. He will not forget to put on his walking shoes and join the picket lines in New York the bread lines in Baltimore and shake the callous hand of everyone walking by. When hope comes back, he might be named Barack, but he will not be named Obama. When hope comes back, because he's coming back, he will be a Black Panther baby who speaks Spanglish, cooks Korean tacos, and does 180 Sun salutations to the sun track of Zion Eye. Hope is hella bay. When hope comes back, he will be a UFW farm worker who loves his fields and his flag more than he hates his foreman. He will be a runaway foster child who forgives his parents. He will be an Iraq war veteran who returns to protest in Oakland again without tear gas canisters to his head. When hope comes back, he will come back from the future in a DeLorean like Michael J. Fox. <laughs> and he will show us all the things that we have won, like people swimming across the Rio Grande for fun rather than survival. And the only, the only student debt being to our livers rather than to the banks. <laughs> and then Michael J. would take us for a ride back to the past and show us this is not our first occupation. Flint sit-down strikers in 36. Alcatraz, American Indian Movement in 69. Sproul Plaza Free Speech in 64. And every semester since then that was worth a damn and reminded Berkeley what it means to be Berkeley. Yeah. When Hope comes back, he will be one of my students. East Asia meets East Oakland. Brilliantly cross-continental, even though he hates the ocean, but I tell you, he speaks with the wisdom of Buddha and Mac Dre. Really, he is my teacher, and I think 
He knows it by now, and we're both okay with that. When hope comes back, he will actually be a she, because hey. <laughs> who actually gets shit done in the first place. She will be a librarian by day, a DJ by night, an Occupy activist in between. She will be, she will be thick hair and thick hips, and if you try to touch either one, she'll give you a thick hand to the face. She will show us to burn down the banks in our hearts and learn to love without lust or profit or restraining orders. When hope comes back, she will be an Oakland Police Department cop. Then NYPD. Then UCPD. Refusing to follow orders. Thank you. Thank you. 